Hello everybody, Zeno here, and welcome to episode 2.6 of our Flash Animation Tutorial. And yes, I consider this a learning tutorial because we're going to learn the difference between two types of uh, motion clips in Adobe Flash. And I'll just go ahead and get started and say it right now. What we're going to learn is the difference between a movie clip and a graphic clip. I'll just call it a graphic clip just to help differentiate the two but what we basically have here is when you make or import a sprite for example usually it'll default to what we call a movie clip and you have the option to change it to a graphic and basically what we're going to learn here is what is the difference between the two so this one is a movie clip and this one is set to be as a graphic and as you can tell right here they have the exact same animation I imported the same sprite twice and made them stop and loop at frame 46. They do the exact same thing. But if we're here to test the movie, you're going to see that the one on the right will desync from the movie clip. He'll start at different times and kind of jitter sometimes because the animation loops from this example I have right here. And we're going to learn why. What basically the difference between a movie and a graphic clip is a movie clip will play the frames, like the symbol, which is what the movie clip is, it's a type of symbol. It'll play the, the, it'll play the symbol in its frames regardless of what's going on. So even if we have this thing only play one frame, which as you can see here, it's just one frame, the movie clip will play the symbol regardless. As you can see, the graphic has not. It just freezes at the one frame because that's all what it plays. Now, this can help with certain things as like if you're making like a text based video where like the character is talking and you want them to press space to continue, but you want them to do like an idle animation. Movie clips are perfect for these kinds of situations, but there's also always a couple drawbacks. For example, if we go back and bring those frames back, uh, graphics they can actually let you do a little more than just do what was going on here. Um, when you have a graphic on, if you set your symbol to a graphic, when you're dragging your little preview thing here, it'll actually display each frame that's being played in the movie in real time. See, something the movie clip does not do. So this can help you align your sprites with like hitting each other or interacting with each other or you know anything you want, which really comes in handy. And on a plus side, graphics can also stop whenever you want them to. Like, as you can see here, this thing, you click on it, it's set to loop. Now, you can even have it play once. So I can have it where this Tails plays and does his jump, and then he'll stop at the last frame. And see, there's now empty frames where he's just on his last frame. So you have the options to do stuff like that. So if you only want them to do the one thing and they have like a standing animation at the end, you can have them just play the frame once and stop on the last frame. And if we hit single frame, you can actually choose which single frame you want it to be. So you can have it always on the first frame. You can always have it always on the sixth frame. You know, there's a lot more you can do here. And you can even have... Um, I don't know, I think if you click loop and you have it on first one, it'll just loop consistently forever, but you can even have it loop so many times in a row. I actually never really utilized that, so I'm not entirely sure. But that right there explains why the movie clip and the graphic desynced, because by the time the frames looped here, he restarted his animation, that's because the graphic starts the animation on frame one, while the movie clip just says, keep playing, because that's what we're supposed to do. And that could basically be the difference of what's going on there. And to add one more extra thing, I believe movie clips do have another feature on their side, as you can add special effects to them. Because with the graphics, you can do the looping and stuff, and the color effect, which is like adding brightness, or tint, etc., Movie clips let you do a little more with filters. And I think the display panel pops up for this too. So you can actually add your own like shadows and stuff to these, which usually take a lot more performance. See, he has a drop shadow now. The graphic can't do that. But these aren't very well optimized in Adobe Flash. 
and usually can hamper performance really, really quickly. So I recommend not to use these unless you absolutely have to. But that is just basically what the difference is between the two. The graphics you can you can view in between. You know, they can they can sync together. If I made this sync perfectly at frame forty six. So he does the wink symbol right there. So right there is where it loops. And I test it out. They will play synced because the way the movie restarts, they both play on frame one. And it's pretty much as simple as that. So I will end this quick episode now. Hopefully you guys know the difference between the two, and I just haven't confused you more. But stay tuned for the next episode, which should be up very soon. But until then, Xeno is out, and I'll see you guys later.